Hey everybody, my name is Luis Guzman. I'm a graduate student at the Minnesota Robotics Institute. And in this series of videos, we're gonna be talking about doing computer vision applications on a turtle bot. And so the eventual goal of this is to do vision-based line following where you can essentially process a webcam image and control the robot with it to uh, basically detect lane markings and stay along a line. And so we're going to be doing this using OpenCV, Ross, and Foxglove. And um, in this video, we're just going to talk about how you would actually view the webcam feed. And in uh, the next couple of videos, we're going to process that image and then control the robot with it. So I'll just walk you through exactly how we would set this up. And um, let's get started. OK, so here I just have the regular um, standard publisher that's available on the ROS tutorials. So we're going to use this as just kind of a base and then build it up uh, to basically publish images instead of uh, right now it's set up for strings. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to change this to Python 2. I think it matters for uh, the OpenCV. And we're just going to import some extra packages that we'll need for this. Okay, so here we have uh, OpenCV, NumPy, and the time package, and then also CV Bridge. And uh, this is going to allow us to communicate OpenCV with ROS. And um, so now the standard message that's imported is a string. We're going to want to change this to image. And that's actually within the sensor message, not standard. OK, so now we have the packages imported. Uh, we're going to get, move on to the main function. We can go ahead and change the name. We're going to call it line follower or follow line. And so here we can start to modify the function to accept images instead of strings. And so we're going to add CV bridge. And we can change the name of this publisher to be a image topic. I named mine USB cam slash image raw, just because that lines up with some of the other image processing packages in ROS, uh, but you can really name it whatever you want. Similarly, we're gonna change the name of the node. This is gonna be webcam control. And next we need to add our webcam. Now for the rate, this is the rate that um, ROS is going to publish on this node. And so we can go ahead and make a variable for this so that it's easier to change. I'm gonna call it FPS. And sometimes you want to separate frames per second when you display the image, just in case um, the Raspberry Pi on the TurtleBot doesn't have enough power to send every single image. And so I'm going to make another one called Display FPS. And so now inside this loop, we're going to want to read the image from the camera and publish it to a topic. So I'm going to make a separate function that reads the image. And later on, we'll do all of our processing in there. So now we have this function where we're passing the camera from OpenCV. And we're reading the image and getting this passed back to our function. So uh, the next thing we're going to need to do is basically convert this regular OpenCV image into a ROS image message. And we're going to do that using the CV bridge package. And so um, we need to feed this image into CV bridge, and then we can publish the message that we get back from that. Right. And we're also going to put this inside of a try and catch block to catch any errors that could come from converting this. All right, 
Now this should be everything we need to actually publish an image on a ROS topic and view it. But essentially what we need to do is um, because the ROS node only updates every so often that's set by the FPS, we want to make sure that the webcam is constantly being read from. Uh, because how the webcam works, it's constantly sending images. And so if you don't read an image from that buffer, you may end up reading an image that's old. And so uh, we want to be constantly reading the camera image and we're, we're going to only be publishing on the ROS topic um, a certain amount set by the FPS. Um, and that would actually be set by the display FPS. And so uh, basically how we're going to do this is um, we need to constantly read the image inside of this function. And then only if it's been a certain amount of time, then we'll publish the image um, that is set by the time delay of the FPS. Okay, so now this is constantly reading the camera, but if it's been too short of a time since the last image, we're gonna return none. And that'll essentially pass the rest of this loop where we're publishing the topic um, so that we're only doing that 30 frames per second. So if we had a 60 frames per second camera, um, we wouldn't waste processing power um, publishing faster than we're reading. So next we need to do the same thing for converting the image at the display FPS. All right, and that's it. So now we can log on to the turtle bot, fire up Foxglove and we can try it out. First thing we're going to do is run the bring up command. This is standard for all TurtleBot um, TurtleBot code. So uh, this is available from the TurtleBot manual. And I'd also like to note that I have the TurtleBot set up right now to be its own ROS master. And uh, this basically means you don't need another computer to connect to it in order to run your code. And so how you can do that is by editing your bash RC file and putting the IP address um, of the TurtleBot itself at the bottom. So I can go ahead and show you that. And so right here, we just have the IP address of the turtle bot in both Ross host name and Ross master. And once we finish that, we can go ahead and build and run our code. That was a cat can make. And then we're going to source devil slash setup slash bash dot bash. And now we can run the code um, doing Ross run. Um, the package I have it in is line following. And we called it webcam control turtle bot. And I got an error here just saying it's not executable. And so we can go ahead and change that um, with uh, chmod plus x. All right, and no more errors. So it looks like it's running. Uh, we can go ahead and open up Foxglove. And there it is, there's our webcam. Um, so the I already have this set up, but the connection is super easy. You go to this top connection icon, uh, hit ROS1, 
And you just enter the IP address of the turtle bot here, the same as in the bash RC file. And then just make sure that the USB cam image raw topic is selected. And there we go. We have a live uh, video feed. And so in the next video, we're going to take this video, process it, and then um, later on, we can start to control the robot using it.